Life's Little Instruction Book by H. Jackson Brown, Jr. Compliment three people every day. Have a dog. Watch a sunrise at least once a year. Remember other people's birthdays. Never mention being on a diet. Have a firm handshake. Look people in the eye. Say thank you a lot. Say please a lot. Learn to play a musical instrument. Sing in the shower. Use the good silver. Learn a card trick. Plant flowers every spring. Own a great stereo system. Be the first to say, hello. Live beneath your means. Drive in expensive cars, but own the best house you can afford. Buy great books even if you never read them. Be forgiving of yourself and others. Learn three clean jokes. Wear polished shoes. Floss your teeth. Drink champagne for no reason at all. Ask for a raise when you feel you've earned it. If in a fight, hit first and hit hard. Return all things you borrow. Teach some kind of class. Be a student in some kind of class. Never buy a house without a fireplace. Buy whatever kids are selling on car tables in their front yards. Once in your life own a convertible. Treat everyone you meet like you want to be treated. Learn to identify the music of Chopin, Mozart, and Beethoven. Plant a tree on your birthday. Donate two pints of blood every year. Make new friends but cherish the old ones. Keep secrets. Take lots of snapshots. Take a kid to the zoo. Don't postpone joy. Write thank you notes promptly. Never give up on anybody. Miracles happen every day. Show respect for teachers. Show respect for police officers and firefighters. Give thanks before every meal. Don't waste time learning the tricks of the trade. Instead, learn the trade. Keep a tight rein on your temper. Buy vegetables from truck farmers who advertise with hand-lettered signs. Put the cap back on the toothpaste. Take out the garbage without being told. Avoid overexposure to the sun. Vote. Surprise loved ones with little unexpected gifts. Stop blaming others. Take responsibility for every area of your life. Save 10% of what you earn. Make the best of bad situations. Always accept an outstretched hand. Live so that when your children think of fairness, caring, and integrity, they think of you. Admit your mistakes. Ask someone to pick up your mail and daily paper when you're out of town. Those are the first two things potential burglars look for. Use your wit to amuse, not abuse. Remember that all news is biased. Take a photography course. Let people pull in front of you when you're stopped in traffic. Don't make the same mistake twice. Demand excellence and be willing to pay for it. Be brave. Even if you're not, pretend to be. No one can tell the difference. Whistle. Hug children after you discipline them. Learn to make something beautiful with your hands. Give to charity all the clothes you haven't worn during the past three years. Never forget your anniversary. Eat prunes. Ride a bike. Choose a charity in your community and support it generously with your time and money. Don't take good health for granted. When someone wants to hire you, even if it's for a job you have little interest in, talk to them. Never close the door on an opportunity until you've had a chance to hear the offer in person. Don't mess with drugs. And don't associate with those who do. Slow dance. Avoid sarcastic remarks. Steer clear of restaurants with strolling musicians. In business and in family relationships, remember that the most important thing is trust. Forget the Joneses. Never encourage anyone to become a lawyer. Don't smoke. Even if you're financially well-to-do, have your children earn and pay part of their college tuition. Even if you're financially well-to-do, have your children earn and pay for all their automobile insurance. Recycle old newspapers, bottles, and cans. Refill ice cube trays. 
Don't let anyone ever see you tipsy. Never invest more in the stock market than you can afford to lose. Choose your life's mate carefully. From this one decision will come 90% of all your happiness or misery. Make it a habit to do nice things for people he'll never find out. Attend class reunions. Lend only those books you never care to see again. Always have something beautiful in sight, even if it's just a daisy in a jelly glass. Know how to type. Think big thoughts, but relish small pleasures. Never buy a beige car. Learn how to read a financial report. Tell your kids often how terrific they are, and that you trust them. Use credit cards only for convenience, never for credit. Take a brisk 30-minute walk every day. Treat yourself to a massage on your birthday. Never cheat. Smile a lot. It costs nothing and is beyond price. When dining with clients or business associates, never order more than one cocktail or one glass of wine. If no one else is drinking, don't drink at all. Know how to drive a stick shift. Decide to get up 30 minutes earlier. Do this for a year, and you will add seven and one half days to your waking world. Never use profanity. Don't expect others to listen to your advice and ignore your example. Learn to identify local wildflowers, birds, and trees. Keep fire extinguishers in your kitchen and car. Give yourself a year and read the Bible cover to cover. Consider writing a living will. Install deadbolt locks on outside doors. Don't buy expensive wine, luggage, or watches. Put a lot of little marshmallows in your hot chocolate. Learn CPR. Resist the temptation to buy a boat. Stop and read historical roadside markers. Learn to listen. Opportunity sometimes knocks very softly. Know how to change a tire. Know how to tie a bow tie. Respect your children's privacy. Not before entering their rooms. Wear audacious underwear under the most solemn business attire. Remember people's names. Introduce yourself to the manager where you bank. It's important that he or she knows you personally. Leave the toilet seat in the down position. Don't buy cheap tools. Cherish your children for what they are, not for what you'd like them to be. When someone is relating an important event that's happened to them, don't try to top them with a story of your own. Let them have the stage, keep an extra key hidden somewhere in your car, in case you lock yourself out. Have crooked teeth straightened. Have dull colored teeth whitened. Keep your watch five minutes fast. When negotiating your salary, think of what you want, then ask for 10% more. Never deprive someone of hope, it might be all they have. When starting out, don't worry about not having enough money. Limited funds are a blessing, not a curse. Nothing encourages creative thinking, in quite the same way. Give yourself an hour to cool off before responding to someone who has provoked you. If it involves something really important, give yourself overnight. Pay your bills on time. Join a slow-pitch softball league. Take someone bowling. Keep a flashlight and extra batteries under the bed, and in the glove box of your car. When playing games with children, let them win. Turn off the television at dinner time. Steer clear of restaurants that rotate. Skip one meal a week and give what you would have spent to a street person. Sing in a choir. Get acquainted with a good lawyer, accountant, and plumber. Give people the benefit of the doubt. Stand at attention and put your hand over your heart when singing the national anthem. Resist the temptation to put a cute message on your answering machine. Have a will, and tell your next of kin where it is. Strive for excellence, not perfection. Take time to smell the roses. Pray not for things, but for wisdom, and courage. Be tough-minded, but tender-hearted. Use seatbelts. Have regular medical, and dental checkups. Keep your desk and work area neat. Make someone's day, by paying the toll for the person in the car behind you. Be punctual, and insist on it in others. Don't waste time responding to your critics. Avoid negative people. Don't scramp, in order to leave money to your children. Resist telling people how something should be done. Instead, 
tell them what needs to be done. They will often surprise you with creative solutions. Be original. Be neat. Never give up on what you really want to do. The person with big dreams is more powerful than one with all the facts. Be suspicious of all politicians. Be kinder than necessary. Encourage your children to have a part-time job after the age of 16. Give people a second chance, but not a third. Read carefully anything that requires your signature. Remember, the big print giveth, and the small print taketh away. Never take action, when you're angry. Learn to recognize the inconsequential, then ignore it. Be your wife's best friend. Do battle against prejudice, and discrimination, wherever you find it. We're out, don't rust out. Be romantic. Let people know what you stand for, and what you won't stand for. Don't quit a job, until you've lined up another. Never criticize the person who signs your paycheck. If you are unhappy with your job, resign. Be insatiably curious. Ask why, a lot. Measure people by the size of their hearts, not the size of their bank accounts. Become the most positive, and enthusiastic person you know. Learn how to fix a leaky faucet, and toilet. Have good posture. Enter a room with purpose, and confidence. Don't worry that you can't give your kids the best of everything. Give them your very best. Drink low-fat milk. Use less salt. Eat less red meat. Determine the quality of a neighborhood, by the manners of the people living there. Surprise a new neighbor, with one of your favorite homemade dishes, and include the recipe. Don't forget, a person's greatest emotional need, is to feel appreciated. Feed a stranger's expired parking meter. Park at the back of the lot, at shopping centers. The walk is good exercise. Don't watch violent television shows, and don't buy the products that sponsor them. Don't carry a grudge. Show respect for all living things. Return borrowed vehicles, with the gas tank full. Choose work that is in harmony with your values. Loosen up. Relax. Except for rare life and death matters, nothing is as important as it first seems. Life's Little Instruction Book by H. Jackson Brown Jr. Give your best to your employer. It's one of the best investments you can make. Set short-term and long-term goals. Attend high school art shows, and always buy something. Observe the speed limit. Commit yourself to constant self-improvement. Take your dog to obedience school. You'll both learn a lot. Don't allow the phone to interrupt important moments. It's there for your convenience, not the callers. Don't waste time grieving over past mistakes. Learn from them and move on. When complimented, a sincere thank you is the only response required. Don't plan a long evening on a blind date. A lunch date is perfect. If things don't work out, both of you have only wasted an hour. Don't discuss business in elevators. You never know who may overhear you. Be a good loser. Be a good winner. Never go grocery shopping when you're hungry. You'll buy too much. Spend less time worrying who's right, and more time deciding what's right. Don't major in minor things. Think twice before burdening a friend with a secret. Praise in public. Criticize in private. Never tell anyone they look tired or depressed. When someone hugs you, let them be the first to let go. Resist giving advice concerning matrimony, finances, or hairstyles. Have impeccable manners. Never pay for work before it's completed. Keep good company. Keep a daily journal. Keep your promises. Avoid any church that has cushions on the pews and is considering building a gymnasium. Teach your children the value of money and the importance of saving. Be willing to lose a battle in order to win the war. Don't be deceived by first impressions. Seek out the good in people. Never discuss money with people who have much more or much less than you. Never buy something you don't need just because it's on sale. Drink eight glasses of water every day. Respect tradition. Be cautious about lending money to friends. You might lose both. Never waste an opportunity to tell good employees how much they mean to the company. Buy a bird feeder and hang it so that you can see it from your kitchen window. 
Never cut what can be untied. Wave at children on school buses. Tape record your parents' memories of how they met in their first years of marriage. Show respect for others' time. Call whenever you're going to be more than 10 minutes late for an appointment. Hire people smarter than you. Learn to show cheerfulness, even when you don't feel like it. Learn to show enthusiasm, even when you don't feel like it. Take good care of those you love. Be modest. A lot was accomplished before you were born. Keep it simple. Purchase gas from the neighborhood gas station even if it costs more. Next winter when it's 6 degrees and your car won't start, you'll be glad they know you. Don't jaywalk. Never ask a lawyer or accountant for business advice. They are trained to find problems, not solutions. When meeting someone for the first time, resist asking what they do for a living. Enjoy their company without attaching any labels. Avoid like the plague any lawsuit. Every day show your family how much you love them with your words, with your touch, and with your thoughtfulness. Take family vacations whether you can afford them or not. The memories will be priceless. Don't gossip. Don't discuss salaries. Don't nag. Don't gamble. Beware of the person who has nothing to lose. Lie on your back and look at the stars. Don't leave car keys in the ignition. Don't whine. Arrive at work early and stay beyond quitting time. When facing a difficult task, act as though it is impossible to fail. If you're going after Moby Dick, take along the tartar sauce. Change air conditioner filters every three months. Remember that overnight success usually takes about 15 years. Leave everything a little better than you found it. Cut out complimentary newspaper articles about people you know and mail the articles to them with notes of congratulations. Patronize local merchants even if it costs a bit more. Fill your gas tank when it falls below one quarter full. Don't expect money to bring you happiness. Never snap your fingers to get someone's attention. It's rude. No matter how dire the situation, keep your cool. When paying cash, ask for a discount. Find a good tailor. Don't use a toothpick in public. Never underestimate your power to change yourself. Never overestimate your power to change others. Practice empathy. Try to see things from other people's points of view. Promise big. Deliver big. Discipline yourself to save money. It's essential to success. Get and stay in shape. Find some other way of proving your manhood than by shooting defenseless animals and birds. Remember the deal's not done until the check has cleared the bank. Don't burn bridges. You'll be surprised how many times you have to cross the same river. Don't spread yourself too thin. Learn to say no politely and quickly. Keep overhead low. Keep expectations high. Accept pain and disappointment as part of life. Remember that a successful marriage depends on two things. One, finding the right person and two, being the right person. See problems as opportunities for growth and self-mastery. Don't believe people when they ask you to be honest with them. Don't expect life to be fair. Become an expert in time management. Lock your car even if it's parked in your own driveway. Never go to bed with dirty dishes in the sink. Judge your success by the degree that you're enjoying peace, health, and love. Learn to handle a handsaw and a hammer. Take a nap on Sunday afternoons. Compliment the meal when you're a guest in someone's home. Make the bed when you're an overnight visitor in someone's home. Contribute 5% of your income to charity. Don't leave a ring in the bathtub. Don't waste time playing cards. When tempted to criticize your parents, spouse, or children, bite your tongue. Never underestimate the power of love. Never underestimate the power of forgiveness. Don't bore people with your problems. When someone asks you how you feel, say, terrific, never better. When they ask, how's business? Reply, excellent, and getting better every day. Learn to disagree without being disagreeable. Be tactful. Never alienate anyone on purpose. Hear both sides before judging. Refrain from envy. It's the source of much unhappiness. Be courteous to everyone. Wave to crosswalk patrol mothers. 
don't say you don't have enough time. You have exactly the same number of hours per day that were given to Helen Keller, Pasteur, Michelangelo, Mother Teresa, Leonardo da Vinci, Thomas Jefferson, and Albert Einstein. When there's no time for a full workout, do push-ups. Don't delay acting on a good idea. Chances are someone else has just thought of it, too. Success comes to the one who acts first. Be wary of people who tell you how honest they are. Remember that winners do what losers don't want to do. When you arrive at your job in the morning, let the first thing you say brighten everyone's day. Seek opportunity, not security. A boat in a harbor is safe, but in time its bottom will rot out. Install smoke detectors in your home. Rekindle old friendships. When traveling, put a card in your wallet with your name, home phone, the phone number of a friend or close relative, important medical information, plus the phone number of the hotel or motel where you're staying. Live your life as an exclamation, not an explanation. Instead of using the words, if only, try substituting the words, next time, instead of using the word, problem, try substituting the word, opportunity. Ever so often push your luck. Don't interrupt. Reread your favorite book. Live your life so that your epitaph could read, no regrets. Never walk out on a quarrel with your wife. Don't think a higher price always means higher quality. Don't be fooled. If something sounds too good to be true, it probably is. When talking to the press, remember they always have the last word. Regarding furniture and clothes, if you think you'll be using them five years or longer, buy the best you can afford. Be open to new ideas. Try everything offered by supermarket food demonstrators. Be bold and courageous. When you look back on your life, you'll regret the things you didn't do more than the ones you did. Never waste an opportunity to tell someone you love them. Own a good dictionary. Own a good thesaurus. Remember the three most important things when buying a home. Location, location, location. Keep valuable papers in a bank lockbox. Don't miss the magic of the moment by focusing on what's to come. Go through all your old photographs. Select 10 and tape them to your kitchen cabinets. Change them every 30 days. To explain a romantic breakup, simply say, it was all my fault. Evaluate yourself by your own standards, not someone else's. Be there when people need you. Don't be rushed into making an important decision. People will understand if you say, I'd like a little more time to think it over. Can I get back to you tomorrow? Be decisive even if it means you'll sometimes be wrong. Don't let anyone talk you out of pursuing what you know to be a great idea. Be prepared to lose once in a while. Don't rain on other people's parades. Know when to keep silent. Know when to speak up. Every day look for some small way to improve your marriage. Every day look for some small way to improve the way you do your job. Don't flush urinals with your hand, use your elbow. Acquire things the old-fashioned way. Save for them and pay cash. Remember no one makes it alone. Have a grateful heart and be quick to acknowledge those who help you. Go the distance. When you accept a task, finish it. Do business with those who do business with you. Just to see how it feels, for the next 24 hours refrain from criticizing anybody or anything. Give your clients your enthusiastic best. Let your children overhear you saying complimentary things about them to other adults. Work hard to create in your children a good self-image. It's the most important thing you can do to ensure their success. Take charge of your attitude. Don't let someone else choose it for you. Save an evening a week for just you and your wife. Carry jumper cables in your car. Get all repair estimates in writing. Forget committees. New, noble, world-changing ideas always come from one person working alone. Pay attention to the details. Be a self-starter. Be loyal. Understand that happiness is not based on possessions, power, or prestige, but on relationships with people you love and respect. Never give a loved one a gift that suggests they need improvement. Compliment even small improvements. Turn off the tap when brushing your teeth. Wear expensive shoes, belts, and ties, but buy them on sale. 
When undecided about what color to paint a room, choose antique white. Carry stamps in your wallet. You never know when you'll discover the perfect card for a friend or loved one. Street musicians are a treasure. Stop for a moment and listen. Then leave a small donation. Support equal pay for equal work. Pay your fair share. Learn how to operate a Macintosh computer. When faced with a serious health problem, get at least three medical opinions. Remain open, flexible, curious. Never give anyone a fruitcake. Never acquire just one kitten. Two are a lot more fun and no more trouble. Start meetings on time regardless of who's missing. Focus on making things better, not bigger. Stay out of nightclubs. Don't ever watch hot dogs or sausage being made. Begin each day with your favorite music. Before leaving to meet a flight, call the airline first to be sure it's on time. When attending meetings, sit down front. Don't be intimidated by doctors and nurses. Even when you're in the hospital, it's still your body. Read hospital bills carefully. It's reported that 89% contain errors, in favor of the hospital. Every once in a while, take the scenic route. Don't let your possessions possess you. Wage war against littering. Send a lot of Valentine cards. Sign them, someone who thinks you're terrific. Cut your own firewood. When you and your wife have a disagreement, regardless of who's wrong, apologize. Say, I'm sorry I upset you. Would you forgive me? These are healing, magical words. Don't flaunt your success, but don't apologize for it either. After experiencing inferior service, food, or products, bring it to the attention of the person in charge. Good managers will appreciate knowing. Be enthusiastic about the success of others. Don't procrastinate. Do what needs doing when it needs to be done. Read to your children. Sing to your children. Listen to your children. Get your priorities straight. No one ever said on his deathbed, gee, if I'd only spent more time at the office. Take care of your reputation. It's your most valuable asset. Turn on your headlights when it begins to rain. Don't tailgate. Sign and carry your organ donor card. Don't allow self-pity. The moment this emotion strikes, do something nice for someone less fortunate than you. Share the credit. Don't accept, good enough, as good enough. Do more than is expected. Be prepared. You never get a second chance to make a good first impression. Select a doctor your own age so that you can grow old together. Use club soda as an emergency spot remover. Improve your performance by improving your attitude. Have a friend who owns a truck. Question your goals by asking, will this help me become my very best? Make a list of 25 things you want to experience before you die. Carry it in your wallet and refer to it often. Have some knowledge of three religions other than your own. Answer the phone with enthusiasm and energy in your voice. Every person that you meet knows something you don't. Learn from them. Tape record your parents' laughter. Buy cars that have airbags. When meeting someone you don't know well, extend your hand and give them your name. Never assume they remember you even if you've met them before. Do it right the first time. Laugh a lot. A good sense of humor cures almost all of life's ills. Never underestimate the power of a kind word or deed. Don't undertip the waiter just because the food is bad. He didn't cook it. Change your car's oil and filter every 3,000 miles regardless of what the owner's manual recommends. Conduct family fire drills. Be sure everyone knows what to do in case the house catches fire. Don't be afraid to say, I don't know. Don't be afraid to say, I made a mistake. Don't be afraid to say, I need help. Don't be afraid to say, I'm sorry. Never compromise your integrity. Keep a notepad and pencil on your bedside table. Million dollar ideas sometimes strike at 3 AM. Show respect for everyone who works for a living regardless of how trivial their job. Stand when greeting a visitor to your office. Send your loved one flowers. Think of a reason later. Attend your children's athletic contests, plays, and recitals. When you find a job that's ideal, take it regardless of the pay. If you've got what it takes, your salary will soon reflect your value to the company. 
Don't use time or words carelessly. Neither can be retrieved. Look for opportunities to make people feel important. When planning a trip abroad, read about the places you'll visit before you go or, better yet, rent a travel video. When a child falls and skins a knee or elbow, always show concern. Then take the time to kiss it and make it well. Never admit at work that you're tired, angry, or bored. Don't insist on running someone else's life. Respond promptly to RSVP invitations. If there's a phone number, call. If not, write a note. Watch for big problems. They disguise big opportunities. Keep several irons in the fire. After you've worked hard to get what you want, take the time to enjoy it. Be alert for opportunities to show praise and appreciation. Commit yourself to quality. Be a leader. Remember the lead sled dog is the only one with a decent view. Never underestimate the power of words to heal and reconcile relationships. Your mind can only hold one thought at a time. Make it a positive and constructive one. Become someone's hero. Marry only for love. Count your blessings. Call your mother. Believe in love at first sight. Never laugh at anyone's dreams. Overpay good babysitters. Never refuse jury duty. It is your civic responsibility, and you'll learn a lot. Accept a breath mint if someone offers you one. When you feel terrific, notify your face. Love deeply and passionately. You might get hurt, but it's the only way to live life completely. Never apologize for being early for an appointment. Open the car door for your wife and always help her with her coat. Discipline with a gentle hand. When reconvening after a conference break, choose a chair in a different part of the room. Use your past successes as a trampoline, not an easy chair. Rake a big pile of leaves every fall and jump in it with someone you love. Volunteer. Sometimes the jobs no one wants conceal big opportunities. Never drive while holding a cup of hot coffee between your knees. Carry handy wipes in your glove compartment. Use a travel agent. It costs no more and saves time and effort. Have a professional photo of yourself made. Updated every three years. Never miss an opportunity to ride a roller coaster. Never miss an opportunity to have someone rub your back. Never miss an opportunity to sleep on a screened-in porch. Sign all warranty cards and mail them in promptly. Remember the advice of our friend Ken Beck. When you see a box turtle crossing the road, stop and put it safely on the other side. Create a little signal only your wife knows so that you can show her you love her across a crowded room. Never be the first to break a family tradition. Park next to the end curb in parking lots. Your car doors will have half the chance of getting dented. Keep a diary of your accomplishments at work. Then when you ask for a raise, you'll have the information you need to back it up. Never sign contracts with blank spaces. Drive as you wish your kids would. Never speed or drive recklessly with children in the car. In disagreements, fight fairly. No name calling. Never take the last piece of fried chicken. Ask about a store's return policy when you purchase an item that costs more than $50. When you go to borrow money, dress as if you have plenty of it. When you know someone has gone to a lot of trouble to get really dressed up, always tell them, you look terrific. 